Dr. Rhea Hogseth, founder and director of the Pediatric Dental Team Association. So I know you are super busy this summer seeing all the kiddos that are out on vacation and hearing all about their trips and all the fun they're having during this school break. And you might be feeling a little bit left out because here you are working hard in the office along with your entire team while everybody else is out having fun. Well, here are some ideas that you can do together with your team and actually have some fun and do something that's going to benefit your office also. So one of the things you can do is to have a ghost afternoon or a ghost day of patients in your office that of course somebody's going to need to know about whether it's one of your schedulers or the office manager but they need to keep it quiet so that everybody else will think that this is going to be a full regular day of work but in reality you've got a surprise plan for them. So if it's just the afternoon, you can arrange to have a limo come to your office and you can go with the entire team out for a movie. You could go play putt-putt. You could go bowling. You could do anything that you think would be fun for the entire team to go and do together. Make sure you're providing lunch and, as I said, take the limo so that they have a safe way to go back and forth. Another thing you could do is to take your entire staff and their families to a sporting event that you might have. Here in Atlanta, we've got the Atlanta Braves, so we would go to a baseball game. But you might have something in your area that you could also take them to, get them all shirts for the team, and go together as a group and sit in a block, and that would be kind of fun. You might even be able to get them to put it up on the Jumbotron that you are there as a team, and that would be great marketing for your practice. Another thing you could do is hire a caricature artist to come into your office and do a caricature of each one of your staff. And then of course post those on Facebook and you could run a contest of people guessing who they are and you could also do it in your office by just having them up in the reception area. And go ahead and make up a form. It's got number one, two, three, four, five, however many staff you have and let people put the names of who they think those pictures are and then have a great prize that you have chosen for the winner. And if there's multiple people who've guessed them and got them all right, then you can just draw a name out of a hat and that would be your grand prize winner. Again, take a picture of that on Facebook and surrounded by your entire team. Again, a great marketing idea. Another thing that's fun to do is to take a day and or an afternoon and do an image consultant to come into your office. Now this is a very sly thing to do if you're having anybody on the staff that you're having some issues with. You could do this kind of as a whole team and make it fun. If you want to do it for a whole day, you could either get a consultant come into your office or you can send them out to one. There's a great dental image consultant, Janice Hurley, who would come into your office and look not only at your scrubs, but kind of everybody, and both male and female, and kind of do an update for your office. Another thing you could do is just get together with the local salon and have everybody go in and get hair done and makeup, and then have a photographer come and take official office photos for your website might be a nice time to update those photos. And in the meantime, they could be having lunch at the salon, and if you want some champagne, whatever else you might want to do to make that fun. But you would have a great new set of photos for your office, and you could also do a great team photo that way. So those are some ideas to have some fun with your team doing things that then you could use in your office. One of the things you might also consider to do together with your team is to plan for a trip together. It could be a trip to a conference, like the upcoming PDTA conference in October here in Atlanta, or it could be a fun trip someplace closer to your practice where your whole staff could go with their spouses and spend a weekend, or maybe it's just one night and two days, Maybe it's for golf, tennis, do something to get them out of the office and together. So one way to do that is to take one day a month or one afternoon a month and book the schedule normally and then have everybody work that time period with no pay. 
and then you would take half of the production or collection that you got and put that aside for overhead because that goes no matter what but take the other part of it and put it into a trip fund and you'd be surprised how fast that builds up and everybody feels like they contributed and it really makes it a fun trip together without hitting the pocketbook of the practice too hard. You do want to make sure if you do do a trip that everybody has to go or they don't get the money that it costs to go. Because after all, you are trying to get everybody to go together and so you don't want people opting out because they'd rather take the money and put it in their pocket. So it's kind of one of those, you come with us on the trip or you don't get anything. At least that would be my suggestion. So these are just some ideas you could do to make it fun in your office. And as always, do dress up days in the office. You could do a Hawaiian day, you could be crazy flip flops, crazy shirts, whatever you can do to make it fun and get your patients to participate also and make sure there's a place in your office that they can take a photo of their crazy outfit and post it on the office's Facebook page. This has been your practice pearl from the PDTA and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.